on you guys i'm currently applying a hair serum to my hair um this is the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density because i love doing this on sundays as part of my reset routine i aim to wash my hair at least once a week so before wash days i like going in with some sort of mask or serum and just kind of letting that sit in my hair all day sunday is the type of day where i like to get my shit together for the week i like to make sure that everything is nice and clean in the house it just makes me feel really good going into the week with a clean and clear mind a clear space it does make a huge difference with my productivity throughout the week because if my space is a mess on monday morning I just feel like shit organization and having a clean house like it directly correlates to how I'm feeling So when my space is nice and clean, it makes me feel so good and it does have a huge effect on my mood and everything so i like to make sure that every week i'm doing a deep clean and i'm doing my laundry and all that so yeah i'm just going to take you guys through what i like doing on sundays on the weekend i like to let myself kind of do whatever i want like if i want to stretch if i want to have movement that's not something that i put pressure on myself to do on the weekend i'm just kind of like you know what if i want to lay in bed all day i'll literally let myself do that but if i feel like stretching then i'll do it if i don't then i won't and i won't feel guilty about it because the weekend is just kind of my time to fully just relax and do whatever I feel like doing. I feel like for me it's really important that I stick to a routine Monday to Friday but then on the weekends is my days off so I'm very lenient on myself. Like this morning I stayed in bed for two hours just on my phone and it felt really good because I just let myself let go and just relax. So that's what I like to use my weekends for. I don't really like to do any sort of or try not to do any sort of work on the weekends because sometimes like my brain is always running. Personally I feel like I never really clock out because i'm always thinking about video ideas or something but it's because i love my job so i'm not complaining about it but it just like i feel like my brain never turns off so on the weekend i kind of do things that force myself my brain to turn off so whether that's like being mindless on my phone for two hours in bed i just let myself have that time and I don't feel guilty about it, so. So now that I have the serum in my hair, I'm just gonna apply this Moroccan oil to my ends. This is actually my first time trying this. This is just a little sample one that I got with my points at Sephora. But I'm just gonna apply this to my ends because I like doing at least something to my hair before washing it, so. So now I'm just gonna do a sleep back bun or something, maybe pony, we'll see. Just to get my hair out of my face while I have these masks in. So I just sleeked back my hair, now it's out of my face for when I'm cleaning and doing everything, which feels really nice. So yeah, now my hair is all in place and we are going to start our Sunday reset routine. First thing we're gonna do is start with the bedroom just because I want to strip the sheets so we can put them in the washer first thing And then also this side is all a mess because this is just like kind of clothes that I've thrown here and accumulated throughout the week When I go to bed, I like take off my um, crew necks and stuff So this is just accumulated clothes that I want to probably put in the laundry But first we're just gonna strip the sheets put them in the wash and then I'm gonna just like clean up my night table And yeah, just clean this whole area up Okay, so now it's time for the kitchen. As you can see, it's a mess. 
the a and is from last night and then we just have like garbage everywhere because we've been lazy over the weekend so this is a time where i like to do a deep clean of the kitchen so kind of go on the stove clean that clean the microwave wipe down everything and make sure everything is spick and spam like do the sink and everything I'm gonna do a nice deep clean of the kitchen also right now i'm currently listening to emma chamberlain's podcast because i haven't listened to her podcast in like so long so i have so many episodes to catch up on so i thought this was kind of like the perfect time to do it but i would 10 out of 10 suggest um putting in some headphones while you clean or just even on a speaker put like music on or a podcast just something entertaining while you do chores because it just makes it that much more fun and it feels like less of a chore when you have like entertainment but podcasts like something just audio to listen to is the best so that you can multitask so you don't have to like look at a screen so towels from the bathroom and i'm gonna put those in the washer because the sheets just finished so i'm gonna transfer those into the dryer and then put the bathroom towels and everything in the washer it just feels so good having something cleaning while you're cleaning like it feels like multitasking so i'm gonna make sure that every time a load is done i'm putting another load in because i might want to wash my clothes today if there's enough time but if not i'll just do it tomorrow but but when i wash things in the bathroom i wash everything like i even put these mats in the wash and they always come out so nice so i'm gonna take the towels and bath mats from both bathrooms and then yeah we're gonna just go throw them in the wash now cleaning i'm actually going to have my robot vacuum right here on so while i'm doing things like cleaning the bathroom cleaning my room it's going to be simultaneously cleaning the floors for me it just feels like i'm getting so much done at once but i would love to thank abode which is this robot vacuum company for sponsoring today's video so abode is actually a technology brand and they're also eco-friendly and their mission is to help busy working people give them kind of more freedom and have a good living environment so what i love about abode is that sustainability is actually one of their core values they actually work with animal protection associations and environmental protection agencies to reduce their burden on the environment so let me actually show you guys here this is their a8 plus robotic vacuum cleaner it actually does sweeping vacuuming and does smart mop rising and it's also self-emptying so it makes cleaning you guys so easy and i never have to worry about cleaning the floors anymore as you can see there's a station here 
where every time it's done it just comes back to charge and this is kind of its little home here and it just makes my house always feel constantly nice and clean so this actually has many sensors and navigation so it can map out your whole place your whole apartment or your house or whatever it knows exactly where to go so it has like super smart technology the really nice thing about it is I only have to clean it every 30 days because it actually self empties so they actually have an app that you download and then you connect it to your vacuum so on the app you can plan out everything when you want the cleaning schedule to be you can do a day and night and also you can have like a no-go zone you can make like a invisible barrier so that the vacuum won't go in that area on the app you can schedule and customize your cleaning plan which is so nice it's also compatible with a google or alexa so if you guys have like a smart home then you can pair it with that as well but yeah, everything is so easy within the app. Especially if you guys have a pet, this would actually be so useful. So when the device is mopping, it actually has 3D obstacle avoidance. So if you have a carpet area, like I have carpet and hardwood, once it goes onto the carpet, the rag will lift so that it's not gonna mop the carpet and make it all wet. And it can do a whole cleaning cycle, so mopping and vacuuming in one go. And it also has line laser sensors, so it'll protect your furniture, but it'll still reach every corner. It's never like banged into my furniture, it, it knows where it is so it's not going to damage anything so this is a before of my floors before it starts vacuuming let me show you guys a close-up here how disgusting my floors get our entrance is right there and then when we walk in with our shoes it kind of drags the dirt sometimes but as you can see there's like crumbs and dirt so i'm gonna let the vacuum run and then i'll show you guys in a second how powerful the suction is the vacuum just finished in this area and as you can see the floor is so clean it left no crumbs like even in the corners here there's nothing like it went all the way to the corners it left no crumbs the floor feels so clean so this is an after of my floors but yeah so if you guys want to shop the a8 Plus, they're actually having a sale from February 27th to March 5th. So if you guys want to get it at a discounted price, now's the time. Obviously, everything will be linked down below if you guys want to shop. But yeah, thank you so much to you both for sponsoring this video. So anyways, let's continue doing our Sunday reset while this turns on and does its job. Now it's time for the office. I kind of let this go throughout the week because I knew that I was going to do this Sunday reset. So I was like, you know what? I'll clean it Sunday. But anyways, so we're gonna do this now, just tidy everything. And then over here at my makeup desk, I wanna clean this out. I just have like shit all over the counter, which I just wanna make it all nice and clean. So yeah, everything is just kind of a mess in here. And I just can't wait to make it look all cute and nice again. And then my desk is also a mess. So I wanna organize and clean this as well. Also up here, I just like throw random shit up here throughout the week. And I wanna just make this look tidy and clean. officially cleaned everything in here it just looks so much better um i just piled these boxes because this is not a priority to like um look through everything and sort everything out just yet so at least it's just all neat in the corner here and then my makeup thing is neat everything is nice and clean the floors look really good and then my desk is all nice and tidy i wiped it down so now it's just super clean and then i also just kind of took everything else that didn't need to be on here out everything is so nice now
I just fluffed up the couch and it feels so much better since this is like a feather um, down couch whenever you sit on it it honestly makes it look like shit so I don't like fluff it up every single day just because that's a lot of work because every time I sit on it it'll have to be fluffed to make it like look really good so I like doing this at least once a week where I just kind of reset the couch I switch around the pillows a little bit yeah it just makes me feel really good having a nice and fluffed couch and I just feel like having this part of the house clean makes the biggest difference so now me and Joel are gonna do a garbage and recycling run I feel like we always have so much garbage and recycling it's mostly honestly recycling it's just these three bags of garbage but things accumulate so fast and i don't know it just feels like we always have so much recycling we have a recycling room downstairs where we take everything to which is really convenient so anyways we're gonna go down and take this all out now of the bed it feels so good to have nice fresh cozy sheets on a sunday night it's honestly the best feeling like after showering and then getting into bed when the sheets are fresh is so nice i try washing them every single week because i know that's the suggested time that you should be washing your sheets just because a lot of bacteria can build within them but anyways it just feels the best to have a nice set of clean sheets on a sunday it's like the best feeling now we're gonna do the bathroom this is probably my most dreaded part of my sunday reset routine i just i don't think cleaning the bathroom is very enjoyable unless i'm like organizing things but like actually cleaning it is probably the worst part having a clean bathroom makes me feel so good it's just the best feeling along with everything else being so clean and you go and take a shower in your nice cleaned shower everything is nice and organized it just feels so good but Anyways, we're gonna start with the shower, clean that, and then do like the sink and the toilet. But yeah, let's just get this over with. Now since we're all done, I'm gonna open this Grateful Candle by The Intelligent Change and it has only like essential oils in it so it's like non-toxic and everything. So we're gonna burn this. Honestly, opening a new candle is just one of the best feelings ever. This is honestly one of the best feelings, having a clean house and then lighting a fresh candle. Oh my gosh, I am so at peace right now. So now is self-care time. I make a point of doing self-care for myself every single Sunday because if I don't have time to do like a face mask during the week, I know that I'm going to be doing extra self-care on Sundays. I like doing my waxing Sundays, shaving, and like doing like the everything shower on Sundays because sometimes during the week it just feels like I have no time and I just want to do the quickest self-care possible. So on Sundays, I make sure that I really go extreme with everything because self-care is so important in taking care of your body. It doesn't have to be a face mask. Self-care can literally be anything from like meditation to whatever you feel good doing and whatever relaxes you but personally for me I just love doing self-care because it makes me feel really clean and healthy on the outside which always reflects on the inside so yeah I'm just gonna do a face mask and then we're gonna wash this off in the shower I hate washing these kind of face masks off in the sink just because it's so hard these are so hard to wash off but yeah we're gonna wash my hair we're gonna do the whole shebang in the shower today i'm not gonna apply this face mask everywhere just because i have like eczema here and i just don't want to mess with it so this is gonna be good enough but yeah i've got my face mask on and i'm just gonna wait for this to dry like five to ten minutes Currently cooking dinner. I blow dried my hair. It is nice and clean. 
it feels so good to have fresh clean hair especially after you put a hair mask in it but i just feel so fresh and clean and the house is beautiful and tidy and it's honestly the best feeling in the world and i have mac and cheese with chicken i mean turkey so i'm super excited about that but yeah so we're gonna have dinner and then after dinner that's when i like to kind of plan out my week I'm honestly so hungry right now because i exerted so much energy cleaning cleaning is a workout like i was moving all day and technically it is exercise because even though i didn't work out today i feel like i did like my body is physically tired but it makes sense because i was moving all day we just had dinner and now i'm gonna new turn on love islands because it's just my comfort show oh my god i'm obsessed with it and there's nothing better than watching that at the end of the day that just puts me in full relax mode and like i said earlier sometimes my brain like doesn't shut up and doesn't shut off but while i watch that it's great because it's just like my favorite show so my brain really shuts off while watching it and i get to just like let loose and relax so that's what we're gonna do tonight sunday nights are definitely one of the most important nights to relax because you're kind of prepping for a big week ahead while i watch love island i'm going to take my laptop and look through my content planner look through my notion and just kind of plan out what i need to do every day of the week and then kind of make bullet points under that see what i have going into tomorrow this is something that i can't skip every single sunday because i like being very organized because working for myself that's something i have to do is like make my own schedule okay you guys so i'm going to bed now i have my red light on i love putting this light on at night because i don't know if it's true but apparently red light helps you like get tired or something like that so i just put it on my starlight projector and it just like creates a vibe at night but i have my eczema cream on right now so that's why i look a little bit crazy a lot of people have been like you pronounce eczema weird i think it's just like a canadian versus american thing because i know some people in the states who say eczema and I've just always grown up saying eczema and the doctors around me have said eczema So it's just been kind of something that I don't know I've always pronounced like that I think there's just two different ways that people pronounce it and I made a tiktok video about it And I was getting so many comments that were like it's eczema. It's eczema people are like it's annoying me How you're saying eczema, but it's kind of just funny because like it's just the way that I've been pronouncing it and known how to pronounce my whole life So I'm not gonna like say eczema like it's just not natural to me Yeah, I just feel really good and reset especially going into the new week. It just feels good to have clean space and a clear mind and have everything organized for the week ahead and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video got some motivation from it to do your own sunday reset routine but yeah anyways i'll see you guys in my next video i upload on sundays now so stay tuned for that and go follow me on instagram and tiktok but yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video